Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I switched to, fully switch to suspension wheels. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong. Alright, so we have a very sunny yet also cold day here in Vancouver and I thought this would be the perfect time to talk with you guys about my experience with suspension wheels throughout the last couple months or so because uh, since I came to North America I pretty much exclusively was riding uh, suspension wheels and once I stepped on a non-suspension wheel again I realized how used I got to this. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to tell you about my experience regarding this subject. By the way, let me know what you think about the name gyro wheel. That's what they use also in France, gyro roue. So it's not been a long time since we have suspension on our wheels and I wouldn't say that we are already at a stage where they are perfect, they don't need much service, they, they are just, you know, easy, simple to work on and you either choose a wheel with suspension or without. No with the Sherman S, with the Big Master, with the Kingsong S22. I think we are already at a stage where if you don't mind working a bit more on those wheels or sometimes fixing some issues, it's actually worth it to have a suspension wheel instead of a non-suspension wheel. And as much, as much as I love the veteran Sherman and veteran Sherman Max, my next wheel, my next daily driver is gonna be for sure a wheel with suspension. So let's get into the reasons why I would want a suspension wheel instead of a non-suspension wheel. Well, first of all, uh, it's actually safety. Um, with non-suspension wheels, you can lose grip very easily when you bounce off the ground uh, and you know, you're know you essentially in the air. So if there's a pothole, if the terrain isn't smooth, if you're accelerating hard and then you sort of bounce up because there's no suspension, it's more easy to lose balance, it's more easy to just, you know, go sideways, lose grip, start sliding, than on a suspension wheel. And I know that you might say that, well, I will always ride with, you know, bent knees and stuff, but I've been through this and there's only as much as your knees can do. If the wheel just loses grip, the tire itself, there's nothing you can literally do than fly and hope that you land on a good spot. And with suspension, you accelerate, and if I didn't have suspension at that, you know, small, I don't know, bump or so, then I would probably get launched off the ground. Maybe I would start tilting forward, there would be a beep. Safety is great for potholes, for, you know, more off-road terrain, for worse road conditions, for taking turns also, because uh, you might lose grip in the turns. If the wheel itself, the tire doesn't have grip with the ground, and this always keeps you in contact with the ground. Uh, so yeah, safety, awesome. The second reason is off-roading and doing tricks, doing stairs, doing jumps. It's just more forgiving with suspension. Mike Leahy even, when I was talking with him, I hope I can quote you here, Mike. Well, I ask you anyways. Um, the S22 for him is just the knee saver. Like, even if he could do all of those jumps uh, with the Big Oat RS or other wheels, he chooses to do them with the S22 because it's just lighter on his legs. Like, it's so simple. The comfort is great and there's, you know, various um, versions of suspension. And I have, for example, a custom geometry by Torque Path, which is rather stiff, but it's still night and day difference between suspension and non-suspension. So if I, if I ride a whole day with suspension, especially on the Master Pro, like, I'm not really tired and if I would do the same thing on the Sherman or Sherman Max or any other wheel without suspension especially 16 inch wheels then I would be very very tired like it's still fun but it's just more tiring and I guess after so much riding I I want some comfort 
<laughs> and the last reason, at least for this video, uh, why I choose to go suspension than not suspension is the customizability of the ride and there's many wheels out on the market and the cool thing about it is that you can just select what kind of ride you want on your wheel so for example here on the master i have a custom shock a set from torque pads and it makes my wheel really stiff and that's how i like this sort of ride and then i can also choose the pressure to make the ride either a bit more comfortable or a bit more you know trick street drop oriented so for example if you want a wheel that is just for comfort and you want to have the most comfortable ride you don't care so much about drops but stairs and so on then you might choose a sherman s or a master pro especially with the sherman s there's so much customizability possible in the suspension system but for example if you want a wheel that is for jumps and for stairs and all of that sort of fun then it's hard to beat the s22 it just gives a lot more customization and almost several new dimensions to a wheel all right guys so with that said that is my short take on suspension versus non-suspension wheels right now at this moment and yeah if you're still here and leave a like on the video <laughs> she wants one <laughs> uh, if you if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this and i'll see you in the next video see you soon